owner again claiming that it, the only reason he threatened to beat me to death with a baseball bat was because I quote threatened to come over his house. I've never threatened to go over anybody's house. I don't know where he lives. I never made an attempt to know where he lives. I never said I was coming to go. I was going to come over his house. The only person that said I was going over his house was him. He said that if I came over his house, he would beat me to death with a baseball bat and said, I know karate while he has a baseball bat. I never said I was coming over his house. This is exactly like Fat Man. When Fat Man starts saying, and I'm going to leave a link to Fat Man's threat to me because he threatened me live on his podcast where he said, if I go after his children, I didn't even know the guy had children. How can I go after his children if I don't know he has children? So what they do is they put these ultimatums out there and then act like you crossed a line in the sand that you didn't cross because you never knew there was a line in the sand. So they make it look like you're threatening them when you never threatened them. I've never threatened this man. I don't know where this man lives. I have no desire to harm this man in any way. He's an idiot. He is a fat, stupid idiot. He has... Nothing to do with me. I have nothing to do with him. I have never threatened to come over his house. The only thing that this man has done is stalk me. He has stalked me and falsified criminal records about me and lied about my past and fabricated things and tried to make people think I was a criminal when I'm not. If you don't believe he's stalking me, let's take a look at his account. Me, 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 uh, yeah, me, 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 uh, that's me too, and I explained that in a previous video about how it was a bullshit charge, it was actually, it shouldn't even be there. Me again, me again, me, is that me? Yeah, me again, me again. It's the one charge he has that I've shown was a bullshit charge, but he keeps showing that one charge because all the other fabricated charges he made up or the charges that were my brother's that he said were mine and made look like were mine weren't mine and he knows they weren't mine so he keeps bringing up that bullshit harassment charge which should have been thrown out but I didn't have time to miss work. So I couldn't appeal to a higher court. Me again. 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 And again, it's me. He loves me. He can't get enough of me. Me again. This is the man that threatened to beat me to death with a baseball bat. Me again. Me again. This is his community tab. Me again. Me again. Me again. Yes, it's me again. Me again. Me again. How many? This is two months ago. Nothing but James. All James all the time. That's all this guy posts about is James. He can't get enough of me. He's obsessed with me. He's stalking me. He's threatened to murder me. This is the kind of people that I'm dealing with that are claiming that I'm stalking them. No, they're stalking me, threatening to murder me, and making up bullshit that I supposedly threatened to come over their homes. I don't know where this man lives. I don't care where this man lives. This man is nothing to me. He's just a lunatic, a fat, stupid lunatic, that apparently was one of many people that mailed mailed Mary a threat in the mail, mailed her a threat in the mail that was threatening her, trying to scare her, and took responsibility. They signed the shovel that they sent her. He claimed to have sent me hair clippers in the mail, but he didn't because he knows goddamn well if he did, his ass would be in prison for a felony of using the mail to threaten and intimidate me.